Hey guys, welcome back. Um, so in this lecture, I'm going to talk about the uh, De Moivier's theorem. Okay. Now, De Moivier's theorem is used when a complex number that is expressed in its polar form, and that polar form is raised to a power. Okay. So let's let's do an example. So for example, if z is equals to r1 cis theta1, then if I say, okay, what is what is z to the power of say three? Okay, now if I raise everything by 3 here, that means it is r1 to the power of 3, cis 3 times of that angle. Which in other case, the general formula for De Moivier's theorem is z raised to the power of n is equals to uh, rn cis n theta. Okay. So uh, what is this useful? It is very useful if you have, say for example, uh, say 3 plus 4i raised to the power of, say for example, 5. Yeah. Now you can do that 5 times and that's going to take you a very long time. What you can do is that you can, um, you can first convert that into a polar form and then you use De Moivier's theorem the Moivier's theorem to uh, to find the polar form that is raised to the power of five, and then you convert that back to the rectangular form. Okay, so it's that simple. So let's uh, do that example. Uh, three plus four i raised to the five. Okay, now I'll just do it here. So whenever we need to convert a complex number into a polar form, we first need to draw out the, uh, the we need to draw the complex number on the argon diagram, right? So here's my argon diagram. Where this is the real axis, this is the imaginary axis. Okay, so let's say this is my three, that is my four. So this is my this is where my complex number is lying. Okay, so this is my z. Okay, this is my z. Now, which angle do I need to calculate? Well, I need to calculate this angle. Yeah, so this angle, theta. And the modulus would be uh, from this distance to this distance. So z is equals to, or modulus of z is equals to 3 square plus 4 square, and then everything square rooted. So that will be equals to 5. Okay, now what about the argument? The argument of z, well, if you look here, that is just like a, a normal right angle triangle, right? So that's that. Well, this is right angle, this is 4, this is 3, this is my theta that I need to calculate. So actually, that will become uh, 10 inverse of 4 divided by 3. Okay, so that would be. 0 0.927 <coughs> radians right now if we put everything together then therefore my polar form is equals to uh, that that will be z equals to 5 cis 0 0.927 raised to the power of 5 okay so now in this case you need to use the De Moivier's theorem to get to get that okay so that will be 5 raised to the 5 cis uh, 0 0.927 times 5 okay so that would be uh, oh I forgot the 5 here raised to the power of 5 okay so that would be 3 1 2 5 cis of 4.635 Okay, so that's the polar form that is raised to the power of 5. Okay, now if we need to put it back into the uh, rectangular form, that would just be um, 3, 1, 2, 5 of cos 4.635 plus i sine 4.635. Okay, so that would be um, negative two four one point zero point six zero minus three one one five point 
X65I. Okay, I uh, hope that's clear. Uh, so, so just to recap, uh, De Moivre's theorem is used when a complex number that is in its polar form raised to a power. Okay, so here's the general formula for De Moivre's theorem. Okay, so it's this one here. And then it is used for when you have a rectangular form complex number that is raised to a high value. So, for example, 5 or 6 or 7. Okay, now the first thing you need to do is that you need to convert rectangular form complex number, which is this 3 plus 4i, and then you have to find the, what is the polar form for that. Okay, now whenever we need to sort out the polar form stuff, you always need to draw that on the argon diagram first. Okay, don't forget, it is very important. So, this is the argon diagram. Argon diagram. Okay, so I need to find this angle theta, this angle theta, or or I can find this angle, but that will be a negative angle. Okay, now for convenience, I only I only need to calculate this angle. Yeah, so just like any other triangle, uh, this if this is my theta that I need to calculate, then tan inverse of three uh, of four over three. That will give me my angle. Okay, now the modulus will be the Pythagorean theorem. Okay, so that's 3 squared plus 4 square gives me my um, radius. Okay, so if we put everything together back inside the bracket, this is my polar form. And it's raised to the power of 5. So I'm, from, from here, I need to use the De Moivier's theorem. Okay, De Moivier's theorem. So you solve that, and then that's your final uh, solution. Okay. Now, if you need to convert that back into the polar form, oh sorry, the rectangular form, this is what you need to do. You need to re-expand the cis. Remember, so cis theta is equals to cos theta uh, plus i sine theta. Okay. So expand this, and then put the put the radius back in. Okay. And then that's your answer. In the rectangular form. Okay, so I hope that makes sense. And if it if it doesn't, uh, please feel free to uh, leave me a message on the discussion board, and I'll get back to you as soon as possible.